hey what's up guys today we are going to learn the mesomeric effect of organic chemistry so let's get started well what is mesomeric effect in my previous lecture i discussed the inductive effect inductive effect involves sigma electron which is related to sigma bond that is sigma electron electrons come from sigma bond please remember mesomeric effect involves pi electron which is related to pi bond pi bond that is pi electron comes from pi bond right what is sigma bond what is pi bond you have to know it right well this is carbon carbon single bond and this is sigma bond right the electron involved uh, the electron related to this bond is called sigma electron and this is a pi bond right one sigma bond and one pi bond and the electron related to pi bond is called pi electron right well to understand mesomeric effect we i am going to take a carbonyl group for example well you know that uh, this is the carbonyl group and uh, you know the, that the electronegativity of carbon is lower than oxygen as a result the tendency to go to electron uh, will be higher for oxygen as uh, we know that the electron negativity of oxygen is higher than carbon however due to the difference of electronegativity electron will go far away, far away from carbon as a result you will get this res resonance structure right this is the sign of resonance so this carbon will be positive and this oxygen will be negative right here uh, since uh, here one lone pair right here pi electron is involved in this movement of pair of electron so this incident is called mesomeric effect right so i will clear it in my uh, in my second part uh, of this video so keep patience the mesomeric effect is represented by by a curved arrow right here this is curved arrow the head of arrow indicates the movement of a pair of pi electron right well if you consider this compound then phi electron is moving from this side right okay conjugated double bond what do we mean by conjugated double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond this is this is conjugated double bond right well and this is conjugated compound single bond double bond single bond double bond. if you get get this arrangement then you can say uh, this is conjugated compound or this is called conjugated double bond however you will understand well the head of arrow indicates the movement of a pair of pi electron right okay consider this compound single bond double bond single bond double bond if you number this carbon atom then you can do this one two three four so uh, pi electron of this bond will 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 come to this point and as a result this pi bond right this pi bond will try to go to 
uh, on oxygen as a result you will get this structure right carbon 2 will be positive and this single bond will be double bond and this this uh, oxygen will be negative right well just observe it well there are two kind of mesomeric effect one is plus m effect and the and the other is minus m effect let me tell you about plus m or the positive mesomeric effect here is a bromine atom right bromine atom will have one two three lone pair as you know that <coughs> In valency cell, bromine have eight electron. So here is two. So okay, you know that uh, benzene ring is a electron attracting uh, species, right? So the lone pair of bromine will come to this point and the lone pair of, of this bond will come here so you are getting bromine as a positive charge species uh, and you are getting this carbon negative right so this process process will continue right then you, you will get here okay then here right here and here right okay so all things will happen conjugatedly and this bromine bromine is going to be positive right so the positive m effect or mesomeric effect of the bromine atom is shown above already we have shown it so what is the definition atoms which lose electrons toward a carbon atom are said to have plus m effect right so if you observe here then you will see bromine is is losing electron to carbon right so bromine have positive mesomeric effect atoms which lose electrons towards a carbon atom are said to have a plus m effect right some common atoms or groups which cause positive m effects are listed below right here are the groups that have the tendency to show positive mesomeric effect what is the characteristics of this group all the group have all the groups all the group have have a single bond right here you will get single bond single bond single bond single bond single bond single bond this is this technique to to identify whether it will be positive m effect or negative m effect right well let me take another example to make negative mesomeric effect clear to you so here is a structure one two three four then you are attaching here nitro group right so basically nitro the structure of nitro group is like this right due to the electronegativity uh, right uh, oxygen is negative and nitrogen is positive uh, as you can see see that this group have a double bond right so this type of so the groups that have double bond have have the ability to show minus mesomeric or negative mesomeric effect uh, however uh, 
this is this compound have a conjugated double bond so first pi electron will come here then this pi electron will go here and this will go to this place so you are getting this structure right at last oxygen will be negative so and so this oxygen is taking electron uh, from this carbon right so carbon is going to be positive and this atom is going to be negative right those atom or groups which draw electrons away from a carbon are said to have a negative effect right these oxygens have the ability to attract electron from this carbon right from this carbon this carbon this is positive so this nitro group will have the ability to show negative mesomeric effect well some common atoms or groups which cause minus m effect are listed below right nitro group cyanide group or carbonyl group these are the group which shows we show negative mesomeric effect right yeah so these all have double bond right so what will be the definition of mesomeric effect oh, well you can make it yourself but here is a model answer right the mesomeric effect refers to the polarity produced in a molecules as a result of interaction between two pi bonds right here two pi bonds right two pi bonds or a pi bond and lone pair of electrons right two pi bonds or a pi bond and a lone pair of electrons the effect is transmitted along a chain in a similar way as a inductive effect here it is so there are two kinds of mesomeric effect the first one is positive mesomeric effect and the second was the second one is negative mesomeric effect in my later video uh, in my next video, I will try to discuss the difference between inductive effect and mesomeric effect. Thanks for viewing this video. Be well.